You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. Hello, pet parents. This is Michelle Byrne, host of Best Bets for Pets on Pet Life Radio. I'm so glad you're with me. You know, our dogs, when we bathe them, they smell good. And that lasts for about, I don't know, a day with my crew. And then they smell like dogs. You know, they get that doggy smell. And wouldn't it be nice to make them smell nice all the time? Just take care of them like we take care of themselves. They could be moistured and smell good and, you know, just... Have a nice smelling dog, right? Wait till you hear what I got coming up. You're not going to believe this product. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, right after these messages. Stay tuned. Your dog digs a hole under your fence. And the next thing you know... Protect your pets with Dig Defense, the amazing new product that keeps your pets in the yard. Dig Defense is safe, fast, and easy. Each unit is made from 4-gauge galvanized American steel and can be used for repairing digouts, filling gaps, or to hold fences down so pets can't get under them. Dig Defense provides peace of mind that your pets are contained humanely and safely. Visit digdefense.com today. D-I-G-D-E-F-E-N-C-E dot com. Dog Shelter Blues, the new novel by Mark Conkling. This hard-hitting story lights up the world of animal rescue with engaging characters and their pets. Struggling with their own internal demons as they attempt to rescue innocent creatures that sometimes bring a mysterious transforming power to broken lives. Read the first chapter of Dog Shelter Blues free at dogshelterblues.com. Then come along a breathtaking journey that ends with an astonishing triumph of good over evil. Order your copy of Dog Shelter Blues today. Available at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. I'm so excited. I have the founders of Dog Fashion Spa, Elena Volnova and Domenico Ponti with me today. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having us today. Yes. Thank you. Well, I'm so excited. Now, your product is very different and it's it's beautiful. I'm not the best one to describe it. Of course, you are. Please tell my listeners all about Dog Fashion Spa. What is it? So we wanted to create Dog Fashion Spa because uh, I was personally feeling a void, you know, taking care of my own dogs, where everything that I purchased just didn't quite appeal to me. The smells were too fruity. You know, the fragrances were too fruity. And I just said, why can't my dog share my experience when I go buy something for me the way I take care of myself? So that is what initiated the beginning of Dog Fashion Spa. And we wanted to create products that look beautiful, but also have the best formulas on the market. And uh, we're just getting a tremendous response from dog parents. So it's so very exciting. Well, I think your product is great. Now, I tried out the scent for the boy dogs and the moisturizer. And first of all, listeners, their scent is not packaged in you know the usual type of I guess scented where you find scented pro or however you find scented products for dogs, which is basically like um, the same type of spray bottle that you find cleaning solutions and stuff like that. No, this is shishi. This is luxury. This is gorgeous. This is, you could put it on your perfume counter. It probably looks better than your perfume bottles. In my case, it does. And it has, what is it called? It's like an old fashioned spray um, attachment and it's just, and it smells like incredible. Oh, thank you so much. Our bottles come from Italy, but all the product is made in the United States. So we did put a lot into packaging just because, you know, we have fashion and retail background. Aesthetics are very important to us. And the the bottles were expired by the old Hollywood glamour. So they have a pump and the female bottle has a tassel. So you can see it's for a girl. And um, 
the fragrance for a male dog that doesn't have a tassel, but it's very, very beautiful. So we wanted the owner to enjoy the experience just as much as the dog. Now, when it comes to the scents, our fragrances are true perfumer's art. So don't expect something that smells like vanilla or strawberry or lemon. We spent two years developing the best scent that we think is for a male or female dog. And the female dog will think that life is a garden of flowers. It's very flowery, but also is very complicated. And when it comes to Moscow, the fragrance for male, it's definitely masculine and it's been inspired by the energy of New York City. So we hear this a lot, but the owners say, oh, can I use this on myself? But <laughs> this is for dogs and we want the best for our pets. We won't judge if you use it on yourself, but it's been developed for dogs. So let me ask you, we know that, I mean, it, the packaging is beautiful. Like you said, it's an old-fashioned, you know, those old-fashioned perfume pumps, so it's gorgeous. But I know a lot of people are thinking, but how safe is it for my dog? That's what I'm sure a lot of my guests are thinking about. Is it safe? We have done our, our due diligence. Uh, we have tested it. We have been testing it live for the last six months on multiple dogs, multiple different breeds to make sure. And um, just like we expected, you know, we have not seen any reaction. However, we will need to say that as even as humans, as we try products, on most humans it's fine, but there could be the one case, you know, where the dog has a reaction. But 99%, we have seen no reactions at all, and we've been doing it heavily for the last six months. And I always say, make sure you spray on feathers away from dog's eyes. You know, it's not meant to, just like you would not spray your old perfume in your eyes. And just, you know, always be cautious. But the fact that animals were meant to live outside and today they sleep in our beds. The same thing for that goes for human hygiene is now applied to dog hygiene. But we're excited that they play such an important role in our lives and that's why we developed a line of personal care products for dogs. Exactly. You said it so well, Elena. We give them clothes and shoes. They have their, you know, toys and their food, especially with the clothes and the shoes, I mean, and the jewelry. So we do kind of humanize our dogs, you know, and why not have them smell good and feel good? Now, besides perfume, you have other products. Can you tell my listeners about them? Sure. I mean, just as you know, you know, as Elena said before, is it took us two years to get here. And the reason why that was is we wanted to start from the shampoo all the way to the fragrance so that there is some harmony between the products. So that took us also a very long time to do. So if you take our shampoo and conditioner, the feedback that we have received from a lot of dog parents is extraordinary and how the coat shines and how actually they smell pretty for three, four days and not just one day. So that has been really good to us. As a supplement, we also have a skin and fur care that you can apply to our uh, our pet friends, you know, between washing so that way they can still maintain the same cleanliness odor to them and all of that. And at the same time, you are conditioning their coat. One of my most exciting thing is, and Elena thinks I'm too stuck on it, but is our gentle iPad. We literally have taken the best makeup remover pads for women and uh, we have soaked them in a special solution, in our own secret solution, that will clean your dog's eyes. And I have seen it personally 40, 50 times, you know, watching dog parents use it. The dog does not, it, there's no burn. There's nothing to them. Obviously, if they felt some burn, you would see the reaction of them, right? Their body would jerk. Zero, zero, any of that. And what I always like to tell dog parents is after you're done cleaning its eyes, wipe its paws, you know, before you throw the pad out. You know, it's about maintaining that cleanliness for yourself and for them obviously. And the uh, final, I would say that we have a pore moisturizer that is uh, wonderful, especially here in the Northeast where we are, where in the winter, the salt and all those things take effect. We have a pore moisturizer and then we have a brush that exfoliates them and also gets them between their paws and get anything out that they walk outside with. That's a great idea because a lot of pet parents forget to regularly check under their dog's paws. And, you know, one of my 
test crew. One of the dogs on my test crew has furring paws, so he has to get his nails and his paws trimmed. And, um, you know, it's just important because things could get stuck up in there and the dogs won't always feel it to where, you know, they lift up that leg where there's something underneath. So having something, especially, you know, like you said, colder weather where if there's snow, there could be something on the ground that you don't, not aware of. Having a brush like that is very good. Now, I also tried your nose and paw moisturizer and my dog liked it but he just licked it too much. So do you have any advice for me next time I use it so he won't lick it? Have some treats. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the treats are more interesting than the poor moisturizer because they think it's a treat. But the thing is, you should rub it in and, you know, because it is an oil. But it doesn't affect, you know, it's a very natural oil, so there are no issues with that. But rubbing it into the paw is the way also to moisturize the paw. That's very good. What is the moisturizer? If you said it's an oil, what is it made of? There are some essential oils, and um, a lot of them actually come from Italy. It's a blend of different oils and also vitamins. So it nourishes pores. It prevents cracks. If you use it on a nose, I suggest to have two roll-ons so you don't mix them because pores still may have some bacteria that you don't want to put on dog's nose. So have one for the nose and one for pores. It's one of our best sellers so far, so it's very exciting. Also now it's summer, so dogs unfortunately have to sometimes walk on hot asphalt, so it's very timely. So you're saying the Pond Nose Moisturizer, it does the same thing, but you need to buy one for each area of the body because the bacteria that's on the paw, you don't want to bring it over to the nose. You can say I'm a little obsessive about it, but that's how I feel. No, I think that would be healthy because, you know, there's things that we can't see and things that get picked up on the ground that you don't want on the nose. And what I'm thinking of is disgusting, but, you know, fecal matter, they're, pro- they're probably picking up some of that on their paws because they don't wear shoes. Well, mine don't. Some do, but mine don't. And you don't want that matter transformed to their nose because there can be infections and such that could come up from something like that. Leak their noses so often. So, and sometimes as dog parents, we're just in denial because we love our dogs so much. We're in denial that, you know, we wear shoes outside, but they don't. And not that many dogs, you know, will allow you to put shoes on them. So you just got to constantly remember that they just walk back into your apartment and they're going to jump on the couch, jump in your bed. Just, you know, don't be in denial. Just take care of your dog. Right. And taking good care of your dog will be taking good care of yourself because one, no worries. And two, no bacteria or disgusting little things around that you can't see. Now, what other items do you have? Do you have anything new coming up that you could give my listeners a little hint about? We do. Well, we're very excited because we have an all natural nail care line coming up in August. And it took us probably the longest to file the formula that's not harmful for dogs and even pregnant women can use it. Uh, This formula has been developed for actually fashion runaways around the world. It's not as popular in America because it's not uh, not cheap, but we're just so excited to be introducing it to dog parents. So stay tuned. And obviously, we're building an amazing online community on Facebook, Twitter, If you're on Instagram, on Pinterest, go find us. Also, our website is www.dogfashionspa.com. So come join if you just also want to stay in touch and involved and share pictures of your pets and stories, how they change your lives. We welcome you. And listeners, you could also find out more on this segment of this episode for Dog Fashion Spa that will be posted on Best Bets for Pets on Pet Life Radio. Also, I have another question that some of my cat lovers out there, cat parents are probably thinking, is the product safe for cats as well as dogs? So funny because this is not the first time we uh, we hear this question. Now, we did not test the product on cats. But we see that the cat lovers are complaining that we'll let them out. So, you know, stay tuned. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, at some point, a couple of years from now, we'll see fashion for the cats. But this line has been developed and tested on dogs. So if you would like to, you know, to test it on your own and try because the ingredients are good, you can. But we did not do that. 
That's good because we think of, oh, it's an animal, it's okay on one, it's okay on the other, but cats are a little different than dogs. So, you know. It's another two years for us. So we definitely don't want to mislead that it's for cats as well. And, you know, we, we concentrated on dogs and testing our products on dogs. Okay, so listeners, just keep that in mind. If you want to try it out on your cat, just keep in mind that it's really for dogs. And even though they're similar, there's differences, even though... You know, we have harnesses for our cats now, and mine's just itching to be walked outside, I know. And there's other products that are the same. It's still, cats are a little different. But there's some great items for dogs, and you can find it at dogfashionspa.com. Elena and Domenico, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about that we did not? Well, our motto is quality life for dogs. And sometimes people ask us, so what does it mean, quality life for dogs? Well, we believe in providing the highest level of care for your dog, whether it comes to nutrition or exercising, lifestyle, personal care, grooming. And that's what we mean by that. That's great. That should be every dog owner's motto. A healthy dog is a happy dog is a happy pet parent, how I see it. And you have great products. Thank you so much. Where can my listeners, I'm sure people out there are listening, are saying, okay, great, where can I find these great products? I know they can go to your website, right, dogfashionspa.com, and listeners, that information will be on this segment for the upcoming episode. But where else are they available? Well, last time I mentioned somebody, I got a call from another pet boutique who got upset. Well, why didn't you mention me? So what I'm going to say is go walk into your pet boutique that you use, your local store, because we don't sell at big boxes. We support loyal customers that use the local retailers or groomers and ask for our products. Or go to dogfashionspa.com. So I don't want to offend any of our partners who, who would say, oh, why didn't you use us as an example? So I'm going to be politically correct. That's good. So your product is mostly available in smaller, high-fashion dog boutiques. Correct. Also, groomers, daycares, and even some veterinarian offices are starting to engage with us. So anywhere where dog parents can come and buy products for dogs, you can ask for our product. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for being on Best Bets for Pets and telling my listeners all about your wonderful products at Dog Fashion Spa. Thank you for having us, really. Thank you. And remember to provide quality of life for your dogs. Always, always. Listeners, I am so excited about dog fashion spots. So nice when my dogs smell good. Almost as good as me, but hey, you know. <laughs> you can find out more about this segment of the episode on Best Bets for Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. There will be a link to the site, a picture, and a little bit of information uh, about dog fashion spa. I'd like to thank my crew this was a Nikki and Mr. Z who tested out the dog fashion spa line. We left Mr. Dennis, he's a cat, out of it for this round. And I'd like to thank my producer for making me and my guests sound great. And thank you to all the pet parents out there for listening, sending in your comments. I so appreciate it. And you could listen to more episodes and download more iTunes. We're in TuneIn, Stitcher, so many places. Send your comments. I send them on. I answer every email to michelle at petliferadio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with another great show. We'll be right back, right after these messages. Stay tuned. Are you crazy about cats? If so, check out the World is Your Litter Box, Deluxe Edition. This clever how-to manual for cats, written by a cat named Quasi, contains more laughs than should be allowable in one book, and is poignantly underscored by the combative yet loving relationship between Quasi and his human. The World is Your Litter Box, Deluxe Edition, is guaranteed to have you laughing your tail off. So, treat yourself to a copy today, available from Amazon. Hi, this is Tim Link, animal communicator and pet expert and host of Animal Rights on Pet Life Radio. Have you ever wanted to know what your pet is really thinking? Do you want to find out if they truly understand what you're trying to tell them? Ever wish you could build a better understanding and closer relationship with your pet? Well, now you can. Learning to communicate with animals is a four-part on-demand workshop. 
In the workshop, you'll learn the essential techniques that are necessary to communicate with animals, including what is animal communication, breathing correctly to achieve the perfect state to communicate with your animals at a deeper level, using guided meditation exercises and method to communicate with animals, and how to send and receive information from your animals. So if you're wanting to learn how to communicate and connect with your animals at a deeper level, visit PetLifeRadio.com forward slash workshop and purchase and download Learning to Communicate with Animals. You'll be glad you did. Love My Pets, the new single by Mark Winter, available on iTunes. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Werber from Ask the Vets with Dr. Jeff here on Pet Life Radio. We want to hear from you. Listen in. We're on every Thursday, 1 o'clock Pacific Time, 4 o'clock Eastern Time here on PetLifeRadio.com. We are one of the only live shows on Pet Life Radio, and I'm here to answer your questions. So you can call in at 877-385-8882, or you can drop me an email to drjeff at petliferadio.com, and hopefully we'll see you here on Thursdays. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I am very excited. I have a great show today. It's one of those shows. It's an interesting product. And you wouldn't believe how a little bit of a difference can make such joy when walking your dog. I know a lot of us struggle with, you know, dogs that pull and jump and all that. But I have a great solution. I am happy to have Phil Blizzard. He is the founder and inventor of Thunderworks, Thunder Leash, and Thunder Shirt. Welcome, Phil. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm very excited to have you on. What is Thunderworks? Thunderworks is our company that is dedicated to creating safe, innovative, easy-to-use, natural products for helping to calm dogs and cats, so calming solutions for pets. That's great because a lot of us have dogs that are nervous during certain times like uh, thunder, with thunder, (laughs) lightning, firecrackers, those kind of things. What kind of products do you have? We have a variety of different products. Our flagship product is Thunder Shirts, and that's what we launched with uh, back in 2009. And, that, and that's geared towards all different kinds of anxiety problems. It, it's uh, it's like settling uh, an infant or people with autism using pressure. It applies gentle, constant pressure around the torso of a dog or cat. And that just has a dramatic calming effect for, for most most animals. So over 80% of, of dogs and cats that have used it have respond very well to it. And, it. and it's great for any anxiety. Uh, so you have the noise anxieties, and fireworks, and uh, thunder, et cetera, but separation anxiety, travel anxieties, just reactivity, general fearfulness. Anytime calming could have a benefit, a thunder shirt could have a great benefit. That's fantastic. Now, you have a new product called Thunder Leash, and it prevents dogs from pulling. Absolutely. How does this relate to Thunder Shirt? Uh, well, it, it's all about calming dogs once again. So a thunder shirt is, is something for more general use for all different kinds of anxieties. Uh, a thunder leash is obviously specifically for pulling issues. Uh, so when you're walking down the street or wherever you may be walking your dog, obviously a very common problem to have a dog that just either reacts to other dogs or people or you know, a squirrel running across the street or, or just in general just has to be pulling the whole time, the, the chronic pullers. It's a big problem. Uh, and thunder leash is very unique, novel approach to dealing with it that just makes it much easier to cope with than the traditional solutions like head collars and, and full harnesses. I'm sure a lot of my listeners out there are thinking, wow, I need this. How does this work? And what makes it so different from a harness? Because many of us have dogs that pull from time to time. I know a lot of people aren't fans of choke chains and the harnesses can be confusing and difficult to put on. I've had, you know, my husband comes to me and go, how does this work? I, I don't even know how this works. <laughs> or pet sitters too, that most of them have dealt with a lot of different things, but every so often they'll come across a collar or a harness rather and go, how does this put together? And you really want me to have the dog stand still that long while I put all these buckles and such? So what's the difference between Thunder Leash and the um, attachment that prevents the dog from pulling? 
he hit all the points right on the head there. I mean, the harnesses can, can be very complicated, especially when you pick one up. It's just like a big pile of spaghetti in your hand sometimes in terms of trying to figure out how to get it on. And, and dogs won't stand still for you to put all the different clips and get it adjusted in place. And, and it's another piece of equipment that you have to be using. So if you're not having a harness on, on your dog all the time, whenever you're out and about, you know, sometimes you're out and suddenly there's an incident going on and you just don't happen to even have your harness with you. You just have your leash and, and regular collar. So what a Thunder Leash does is it combines a, a leash with the benefits of a harness. So you can use it just as a total standard leash. It can just clip onto a standard collar and you can walk down the street just like you would with any other leash. But when the dog starts to have pulling issues, it has a special hardware that allows you to do a quick wrap around the torso of the dog and then it, it provides this little loop so that when the dog starts to pull, it just applies some safe pressure around the torso. And most dogs respond very well to that pressure where they'll, they'll let up on the pulling and they'll be much more attentive to the, uh, the pet parent as they're walking down the sidewalk. Now, it's interesting that you mentioned that this is something you can do in a flash. You know, you could use it as a regular leash and as you're walking, just, you know, the dog starts to pull, sees another dog, gets excited, just go ahead. And, and that's actually how I used it. I started off the regular leash and I thought, well, let me try this, see if I need the pulling. And sure enough, there were some other dogs playing around. My dog wanted to get involved and I quickly attached it to the hardware and it was so easy. And he stopped. He just stopped pulling. It was amazing. It really does. It's very surprising how these types of simple pressures on the torso can have so many different benefits. And uh, I mean, the, the whole point, again, as you mentioned, is just to make something that's so easy and something where you don't have to be carrying around extra equipment. And that's what Thunder Leash accomplishes so well. I mean, it, it literally takes five seconds, just a quick wrap around the torso and you slide it into this little slot and then this, this loops in place. There are uh, adjustment buckles so that it stays. Uh, once you've adjusted it once, it'll stay with the proper slack and then it will only apply a slight pressure before safety buckle kicks in. So it's a total positive approach for the dog. There's no risks to it. And, and it's just surprising how quickly dogs will, will will let up when they just feel the simple pressure. And, and it's a totally consistent response. So I mean, one thing with training that everyone has trouble with is just being consistent with the feedback that you're giving uh, a dog for, for different circumstances. And once the thunder leash is in place, you know, it'll just give them this simple little pressure around the torso every time they start to pull and they let up and you just have this consistent feedback loop going. It's such a simple, you know, like you said, it just clicks into this piece of hardware. It's so simple. Does it ever come undone? Very infrequently. In an unusual circumstance where a dog is pretty much doing somersaults, still trying to get pulling, which which most dogs will, will stop pulling as soon as they start feeling any of this little bit of a pressure. So it stays in place. And even if the loop came undone, they're, they're still clipped to the leash. So it's totally safe. But there's really nothing they're going to do short of breaking their collar uh, to get free of, of the leash. And so it's safe for all sizes of dogs, little chihuahuas, rottweilers, all sizes. Yeah. Yeah, well, we actually size down to about 10 to 12 pounds is what our small will fit. Uh, down the road a little bit, we're, we'll be introducing even a smaller version to help with the smallest dogs. But we have two sizes, small and large, and it'll cover any dog that's bigger than 10 pounds. Now, what about cats? Because more and more people are starting to walk their cats if they don't want their cat to be an outdoor cat and they don't have a, a, you know, say a fenced in or patio screened in area. So do you have anything in mind for cats? Yeah, it's really terrific how many people are starting to walk their cats. I mean, it was such an unusual thing to see not all that long ago. So I think it's a great thing that cats are getting out a little bit more. I think it's good for the relationship between the owner and the cat, and I think it's just great for cats to, to see a little bit more of life. Uh, we have not uh, designed Thunder Leash for cats yet, but that is something on the drawing board as, as, uh, as time goes by. The cat on my test crew thinks of himself as sort of a dog, I guess because his brothers are dogs, so then, you know, he picks up habits. I think he would take very well to being walked on a thunder leash. I don't doubt it. And really, the, the small thunder leash would fit most cats, you know, any kind of medium or, or large cat. You, you could definitely give it a try. I guess I just can't speak to it at this point because I haven't actually personally tried it or seen someone untry one. And we have thunder shirts for cats, and, uh, and those work remarkably well. But one thing we do see with many cats is at least their initial response is is to kind of do what we call the freeze and flop, <laughs> which uh, if you look up uh, cat thunder shirt on uh, on youtube you'll see a viral video that, that went out uh, four to six weeks ago that shows the response that one cat has to a thunder shirt and many of them will, will just kind of look like they're immobile and just lay over on their side 
over and over again. And they're not stressed. They're not uncomfortable. Many of them are actually purring uh, while they're doing the, what we quote, the, the freeze and flop. And we've had heart rates measured and the heart rates are down. And it's actually a very useful response, especially during vet visits and, uh, and trading for, for traveling to the vets. Uh, but since a thunder leash applies this pressure around the torso too, and they pull it, it'd be, it'd be very interesting to see how cats would respond. That's interesting. I once put a sweater on Mr. Dennis and he actually did a moonwalk for a little while. So I don't know what he did in. <laughs> but I think he, he he's pretty calm. So I don't know that he would need a thunder shirt because nothing really, you know, he's like a Mr. Cool Cat. But the thunder leash, I think, would be great. Even at the vets, he's, he's a happy cat. OK, ma- yeah, you're right. Maybe at the vets. He, no, he actually is not bad. I mean, he's the kind of cat where you open up his, his crate, you know, his travel crate and say, go in. He walks in. That's impressive. And he found us one night because I'm not a cat person, but he changed that, you know. So I'm looking forward to walking him on the Thunder Leash because I think he would really like that. So what other products do we know about the Thunder Shirt, the Thunder Leash? We know that you have some cat ideas on the drawing board. Anything else that you can give us a little hint about that might be coming up? Yeah, absolutely. We've actually recently introduced our Thunder Toy and Thunder Treat. Thunder Toy is a stuffable chew toy, a very durable toy that, that has an internal cavity that, that you can put your own kibble into or other treats, whatever your favorite thing is for, for your dog. But we also introduced a, a Thunder Treat that's designed specifically to go into the Thunder Toy and, and has some ingredients that are thought to calm like chamomile and lavender. And the two together are just a great tried and true approach to, to helping get the calm dogs, you know, giving them a good project that will occupy them for 20, 30 30 minutes and, and, and the benefits of the treats and combining that with a thunder shirt uh, if you're dealing with separation anxiety or other types of excitement issues has been a great complimentary approach. And then we are introducing a thunder coat and a thunder sweater later this year, actually, uh, which are thunder shirts, but with added warmth and rain protection. It's, it's got a, a thunder shirt as a lion and then the thunder coat looks like a, a little trench coat for your dog, including a little removable hood and, and the thunder sweater adds some warmth with a, a corded uh, knit sweater to go with it. So those are the big products that we're introducing here recently. So you can have a thunder wardrobe. Absolutely. (laughs) Your dog can have a thunder wardrobe. So these are great products and I'm sure my listeners are saying, wow, you know, I could really, I could benefit, my dog could really benefit, but so could I when he's neurotic or she's neurotic and and it's thundering and, and leash pulling and all that crazy stuff. Where can my listeners get Thunder Works products? Yeah, I mean, the easiest place to learn more about them and, and you can purchase as well is at our website, which is thunderworks.com or thundershirt.com or thunderleash.com. We'll all take you to the same place so you can learn about all our products there. We're also available in, in most pet stores across the country, you know, independent pet stores, but also pet smarts and pet codes across the country. And as you mentioned, these are big issues. We've done some broad research on the subjects. Nearly 30% of uh, dogs out there have been identified to have some sort of significant anxiety or fear issue like the noise anxieties or separation anxieties. Dog owners are spending over a billion dollars a year dealing with anxiety, about half that on vet bills and medications, and about $250 million on destroyed property, like the the chewed up couches or scratched up doors. And cats, they have nearly as many issues. They're spending about $500 million a year uh, trying to deal with their anxiety issues. But the the most common threat is the one we already mentioned a little bit is is the whole vet visit experience is just a huge problem for cat owners. And a lot of cat owners, unfortunately, don't even buy they're taking their cats to the vet for routine health care because it's just such a, a difficult experience for cat and owner alike. So we just encourage you, if, if you're having any of these issues you know, and, and you've looked into solutions in the past and didn't want to try training or didn't want to deal with medications, take a look at some of our solutions. But They're so easy to use. They come with 100% money back guarantees and, and they're totally positive for your pets. Thank you so much, Phil, for telling my listeners all about Thunderworks products. There's some amazing products on the site, listeners, stuff that we couldn't talk about everything, of course, but there's probably most of it we discussed, and there's some great information there, and it will also be on this episode of the next segment that will be posted. Phil, is there anything that I did not ask you that you wanted to talk about? No, uh, just as always, if, if you have a local shelter or rescue group in your area, go give them some help. Uh, it's amazing, especially this time of year and shortly after the 4th of July, that the shelters are just swamped with pets and can use any help you can. And we've donated over 20,000 Thunder shirts over the last couple of years to try to help shelters deal with the anxiety cases they see all the time. So if you have any extra time or extra funds, just, just run on down to your local shelters. That's what we'd like to encourage. Listeners, you can learn more about Thunderworks on this segment of the next episode 
of Bets Bets for Pets. I'd like to thank Phil Blizzard of Thunderworks for coming on Best Bets for Pets, telling my listeners all about the great Thunderworks products. I'd like to thank my pest crew, Mr. Z, Nikki, and Dennis for trying out the Thunder Leash. Yes, I said Dennis. He's a cat, but I did try it on him just a little bit, and he kind of liked it. The dogs loved it. Ah, amazing. Stops pulling. Amazing. And I'd like to thank my producer, Mark Winter, for making me and my guest sound great. Any questions, comments, please send them to michelle at petliferadio.com. And a huge thank you to all the pet parents for listening. I so appreciate it. You can find more shows on PetLifeRadio.com. Stay tuned. Till next time. And take good care of your pets. Let's Talk Pets, only on PetLifeRadio.com.